Okay, I just wanted to post a quick video uh, on something I ran into with my Cisco 4400 wireless controller a couple of weeks ago. Uh, in case any of you folks with Cisco wireless controllers run into similar problems. Uh, as you can see here, I'm under security, disable clients. And you can see a list of MAC address numbers, um, of block machines, iPods, Androids, iPhones, and so forth that, that uh, shouldn't be on our network. Um, Basically, it lists these MAC address numbers by the first uh, octet, so numerically or alphabetically. Uh, and what I ran into was I blocked an employee's machine who had signed the appropriate paperwork. She was supposed to be on her network, and I blocked her machine. Uh, when I came in here, I was unable to find her MAC address number. So um, I tried a few different things. I tried to add her MAC address and then try to remove it. I got the message saying it was already here. So that led me down this road. Um, what you want to do is log into your console as an admin user and I've got my sysinfo up here so you can compare your firmware and so forth to mine. Okay, I'm going to type show exclusion list. Exclusion list is one word, no space. Okay, It brings up 15 clients at a time. I'm just going to hit uh, the Y character with no, no return to go through my entire list, okay? You can see that uh, the list here in the console uh, extends far beyond this one that starts with 5C. All right, so let's say, for example, I want to uh, allow this Nicholas's iPod on our network, okay? It was a mistake, or he's now gone and jumped through the proper hoops, and I'm going to say config exclusion list delete and then I'll type uh, the MAC address number of that machine okay so it says that uh, it's deleted the exclusion list entry it gives me the MAC address number now I can hit my up arrow if I want to show the list again okay you can see that it's no longer there so that's how you can manage your exclusion list through the cons uh, through the console rather than the web interface. Uh, apparently, it only shows 80 uh, clients. And another nice thing about the uh, console is it it does give the full description of the device as opposed to this web-based interface, which only gives you three characters. Um, so the last thing we would want to do, and this is a good habit to get into. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if this is necessary for this exclusion list or not, but I'm in the habit of doing it. Is I'm going to save my config which actually writes your running config to the startup config so you don't lose any changes when you restart your uh, wireless controller. So hopefully that was helpful. Leave questions and comments below. Thanks.